So what you doing? What you? Mm, you. I'm testing through piles and piles of germanium transistors. For your new fuzz boxes. Yeah. So will that one make the grade? We have to check it. Looks a great tone wise, but can't make it noise wise. Reject? So that one's a reject. That's a reject? That's a reject. So what are those three piles? Those three piles. You better turn around and talk into the. Are the winner winner number. chicken dinners. Those are the ones that get used? Those are the ones that get used. And These are the rejects down here? Yeah, this started as a bag of 250. These are very rare, by the way. These are AC-128s, not, you know, just substitutes for AC-128s. Those are real AC-128s. How old are those? They're pretty old. But the, the problem here is that, is that, you know, everyone knows about these things. They're, you get maybe one quarter of your stock that's, that's usable. So your this that's your testing rig. Yeah. So this one, you know, I mean, maybe you put the camera on some of the boxes so people see what they are. You know. That's the. Those okay. are the completed ones. Okay. You hear that bacon frying? Yeah. That, that means it's no good. That'll never heal. That's useless. That's another useless one. Garbage. Garbage. So you're getting about twenty-five. 28% usable yeah. out of the bag. It'd be nice if I could get a winner for the video, but it's rare. That would be cool. I've been sitting here for two days straight doing these. You know. Hey, well, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I know that's not a winner right there off the low volume amp. I put the loud amp, amp on. That's ridiculous. <laughs> that's useless. Sounds useless. like an earthquake. <laughs> yeah, so let's do one more. Let's see if we can get a winner winner chicken dinner out of this. His leads easily separated. Here we go. Let's see what this one does. So what are those three piles? That's grade A, B, and C. So grade A is the best? Nope. So you would think now that that's a total loser. Listen. Yeah. That's horrible. Yeah. But but it'll probably sound like incredible. It'll probably be a killer sounding one. Watch. But, but it's the, noisy. the noise would get, and it's a shame to throw some of these away that get tone like this. But it's got to go in the trash, you know? So even though it's you already knew it was going to go in the trash, you went ahead and played through it anyway? <laughs> Sometimes I do, but I'm going to grab a good one because I might not find another single good one here. So that you can at least see me get a winner. Okay. Here, you know, this is from somewhere in the middle of the A pile, right? So I never answered your question. Why is there an A pile? B pile a, B, C. What do they mean? C pile. Okay. Every one of these things have a, has a different tone. It's its own little special magic sound. So and sometimes they the have test. a big earthquake sound behind it. Yeah, then they don't pass the test, and they go over there. But if, if they're if they if they're within the noise level, and I don't use meters and machines. They go in this device, so I test them actually literally in this, and I play through every one of them. So, you know, if the thing passes the noise level, it, it has a lot of different sounds. A guy came to pick his up yesterday, and he and he goes, you know, and he asked me, well, you know, how, how did you pick your transistor? And I said, well, while I was just testing through them, I went, this one belongs to so and so. Because I, I got a good idea of how people play, you know, my customers that own my amps. Well, you've heard Fabio play a lot, so you right. know. Right, so I, I sort of know which one they would like the best. And is that etched in stone? No. Like, like A isn't better than B or C. A's have a little more gain than B. And I know some guys would like the lower gain ones better, like myself. I, I, would, go, I would go for a high C grade or somewhere in the lower B range. Okay. Well, does because that matter of, with the game the master? Game. But the tone is different in every one of them, too. Everyone has its own little tone. 
And this is really splitting hairs, you know. It must be because I can't tell the difference of them. Right. So, I mean, I could just put them in one big pile. I'm, I'm just real picky about this stuff. So, that's why I put them in three piles. So, with each guy that wants one, I go, oh, I know he's going to like something from the C pile better than the B pile. I could call it three, four, and five or whatever. I just called it A, B, and C. But it, there's, make no mistake about it. There's no, if it passes and sounds killer good, Right. It, so that's it, one it, that's already been vetted to be a, an extra nice one that you like. The that's pre yeah. That I just you randomly grab this from the A pile, right? That you prefer. Yeah. So. Um, so it's not noisy. No, that's the low volume setting, and and then that. Oh, by the way, that high volume setting right there. I mean, that's really loud. Like that would be. Uh, you gotta know how to use a Germanium box. You can't leave it on and walk away from it anyway, right? But even this loud. That's very acceptable, but... Wow, that really does sound good. That's a killer sounding transistor, low volume. They have that real talky sound. I mean, not, are you going to demonstrate a B and a C to see? Most of those, well, you really, you wouldn't hear the difference on the camera. It's what I yeah, feel. Yeah, this camera is what I feel under enough. my fingers, and it's it's it, and that's, you know, people look to me for the tone because they know I go through all. Well, this, that right? thing but, is dead quiet, isn't it? So what what I have to work with is my style of playing, my ears. Okay, and we all know what that results in. It results in these amps. So when I grade one A, B, or C. I can't even explain the criteria I'm grading them at, but it's what I feel under my fingers. And I might go, well, I like this one better. And the other guy plays the two and go, no, no, I like the other one better. Because everybody has a different feel on their fingers. So what that grading is for is, is for me to relate to my playing and then compare it to other people's playing and say, no, I think he wants one from this. I'll just call them three separate piles, one from this pile. And yeah, I, I agree. The guy who generally likes a little more gain, but I mean, so you can adjust the control too. But this, you know, within that range, is I'm just picking for certain reasons, you know. Yeah. Um, but there's only so many of these, anyway, you know. So and you're gonna get maybe 60 of them out of a batch of 250. Out of a, ba a bag of 250 of these things. So and, and yeah, that's a, that's a little less than 25 percent. And I can't get no more. I have. There aren't gonna be any more. Of these. No, I have a thousand of them, and when I grade through them. That's it. There's, there's, I can't get AC 128s. I can get some other things, but uh, uh, I, it would be a, a full-time job for me to sit around and try to find some more AC 128s because that's not going to happen. So this one here, winner, winner, chicken dinner. That one stays there. It looks like a little virus. <laughs> yeah. With its little it's legs. A, yeah, it's like like uh, the thing in the War of the Worlds, right? Exactly. You know. And and here's a, a completed one. There's the, this little that, battery box. That tape is just the person's name of who I picked this one for. You know. It's custom two minute freak person. Yeah, I mean most the guys that buy from me, I've heard them play a million times. I know what they play like, so I can sorta of try to tailor in a transistor that I think they would like better, you know. Mm -hmm. Then and the guy like the guy who came yesterday was shocked that when he, I played him two or three and he went, Yeah, you're right, I like I, I like that one the best. You know. <laughs> so Anyway, that's what I'm doing here. Let's see if we can find one more winner. One more winner. Too bad you don't have the guy who could um, feel the transis. I mean, the the transformers. I know. I know. And 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 just say, okay, use all these and throw these away. That would save you a lot of time. I know. That's a loser right there. I can tell already because when I hit that high volume switch, is it going to quiet down? If this now now, if this was all that was left in the world, because it's going to be soon. There won't be any more of these, right? So you're not going to throw that bag away? No, but if this was all, I would play through that myself because the, the, the thrill of driving a tube amp with one of these little things is incredible. And, you know, you don't leave these things on. You turn them on for your solo and you shut them right off because they're notoriously noisy. Anyway, even the quietest ones are noisy. But if that was all that was left, I would actually put up with that for the tone of that, you know. But that's... That, that ain't a keeper. Let's see. 
Come on, we got They're a not good enough for now, though. No, we got a whole plate of them here. That that um, this is the last. Of the, this is the last of the two fifty. All right. Transistors for lunch. I've been doing this for so long, even in the dark, I can line up the pins. All right, so. Now these get soldered in, by the way. This is just a socket in a test one. So That's no down. good. I can tell you right now. Uh, that that one won't heal itself. Well, don't play through it then. I'm That's not. That's just a big mm -hmm. waste of time. No Come on, one more for the video. Let's get a good one. If you're the only, the only four, good one we got. Get, then this one should be good. <laughs> the only good one we got was a staged good one. Statistics say this one will be we good. We got a staged good one, one that I took from the good pile. Yeah. Well, no, that one doesn't count. So it's it's like you walk away thinking none, no good. You'd walk away thinking none of these would be good. It's a lot of work to go through to make this. It is, it is very possible that they're in a single one in this plate. Well, didn't you get like four or five in a row that were good? Sometimes I hit like the the vein, the mother vein, you know. The mother vein. Mother load, and I get a bunch that are good, right? And then a bunch that are dead. Dead. Unbelievable. Let's see. Come on, one more for the video. People are getting so bored right now. They're like, they're, they've all clicked off. Nobody's watching. No. Anymore. So only for the diehards that stuck through it, maybe we'll get a winner, winner here. Oh, terrible. Come on. Are you sure you don't have it turned up? You know, I did on that one. Did you just throw away five that were no good? I gotta make sure that that control isn't turned all the way up. Is the game master on? Yeah, but I was in the low volume setting the show. Oh. If that thing was that loud, even with the thing all the way up. Well, remember when you had to go through the whole pile again because you had the I thing know. set wrong? I know. Yeah. Garbage. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> Garbage. I'm going to check one more that I threw down there where that volume control was all the way up. Okay, everybody. My, time to go to the bathroom. <laughs> my leg knocks the thing sometimes. All right. Don't worry about getting electrocuted. Yeah, if you get to watch Bob get electrocuted online, okay. that'd be amazing. It's doing everything wrong. Noise, bacon frying. Bacon and, frying. And sometimes you get the. What do you? Oh, what were you guys? What were? The door knocking sound that comes out of them. So Scotty had to turn for one of them too, didn't he? French fries. French fries. Yeah. French sometimes. Fries. Is that sometimes, what you call bacon frying? Yeah. Sometimes they do. Every wrong thing they could possibly do, they do. You know. They have door knocking and bacon frying and french fries, or bacon and frying french and french fries yeah. the same thing, you just call yeah. it. Right. Okay. But every now and then you get one that does every single Every once in a while you get one that's quiet and sounds really awesome. And they go up on top of the pile that's here. The, that one won't work either. the ones that are good go here, and the ones that are bad down there. Bye guys. You're going to the, not to the graveyard, but to the limbo. It's a limbo, yeah. It's because like eternal limbo. Someday. Now, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Maybe. Here. Bacon fry. See? It's not hissing, but it's got bacon. the bacon fry. Stupid no good. Bacon. No good. But that's not French fry. Or that is French fry. French fry, bacon fry. Scotty calls it French fry. You call it bacon. And it won't heal itself. Heal itself. So you're gonna play it. Anyway. It still sounds good. Listen how good that transistor sounds. It's a shame. But then if you turn it up, it sounds crap. No, if I turn it up, it'll still sound good. But it's it just I can't sell something like that. But I mean. Now here's mine, right? Well, the one that's on my board, I call it mine, so it's on my board, right? Oh, I gotta turn this one off, I got two on. <laughs> See, that's what I'm looking for, is these, you know? 
sound that much different to me when they're turned up. That's the problem, is they all sound good, even the noisiest ones really sound good. But, it's, it's but a shame. so you if somebody's going to play them at a low volume, it wouldn't matter. What, what, what's the well, difference? At a low volume, some of them, you, the, a lot of the ones I throw away, you wouldn't even know they're bad if you were playing at practice volume. But well, you said a lot of the ones, that your old prototype one was noisier than all those, but you had a 1950s transistor in it? Yeah. So... No, that one still makes the cut, though. It's noisy, but it makes the cut. There's a, there's a range in there, you know. I, I, so it's I, I, I don't the care door how, knocking I don't care. and the bacon frying that A, makes B, you and C, I don't care. A, B, and C doesn't mean the, the quietest ones are A, because uh, I'm just looking for the different tones that they have. That, you know, so, I mean, there's a range of noise I accept, and in that range of noise, I don't care if it's at the top or the bottom end of that noise. That doesn't mean... Mean so some have a, a little bit C. more of the background noise, but then, yeah, yeah. That but doesn't then if mean, they don't that have doesn't, door knocking or bacon frying, that, that can't go through. That then goes that, in then garbage, that, right. that's what. So if they're too noisy, or if they have door knocking or bacon frying, they go in the reject pile. Yeah, and right. then if they don't go in the reject pile, then they go in one of those piles up there. Right. And right. those piles are kind of custom tuned to for what you're to, hearing yeah, in the right. actual tone. Right. For me to be able to say, I think. So, so and we've so just like confirmed this one that you're truly one. insane. Exactly. Okay, we Who better go now. Who else would mess with this stuff? So we're not going to get a good one on here. Peace out. Later. <laughs>